What's up, YouTube? It is your boy Loki Nard, and I'm back with another video. But this time, this video is going to be titled "Why Is It Okay to Be a Loner in College?" A lot of people think being a loner is a bad thing. A lot of people think being a loner makes you weird. A lot of people think being a loner is just something that you shouldn't be because they feel like it's multiple reasons that they feel like being a loner is bad. But for the most part, that I hear is being a loner is bad because you spend too much time by yourself. You overthink. Indeed, while all of that may be true, there's also a lot of pros to being a loner. A lot of people choose to suppress and not speak upon for the simple fact that it make it it make them seem whack. It make them seem lame. Like they don't really have friends, and that's not really the case at all when it comes to being a loner. Because being a loner, it it takes on so many responsibilities and tasks that only a positive, strong individual would be willing to take on by themselves. First thing I wanted to touch on is why being a loner to me is kind of like cool for one like being a loner i get a lot of time to myself i get to observe things i get to see things for what they is i'm a very futuristic person and most loners you they either think a lot or they're very futuristic i'm very futuristic i like to plan stuff out organize myself get things done by myself before i make myself seen or available to other people a lot of people don't think that's the way to do it a lot of people feel like that's dumb when you could be doing it with other people but me personally, I don't trust people. And being a loner, I personally, I outgrow things, I outgrow people. And if our dreams, our realities, our life doesn't coincide or go right hand in hand, I feel like I, I shouldn't be indulging my time and space with you 24 seven. And honestly, that's just where I'm at with it. Like I haven't really met nobody where I'm completely comfortable around 24 seven, no matter the environment where our life long goes, they, they coincide in the parallel to each other. So what I've kind of learned is like nobody else can make my map, my path for me. Only I can make my path. So me understanding that I can't be around people who don't who don't have the same vision with me all the time. I can't let other people lead me who don't have the same life goals as me who are not doing what I'm trying to do. You feel me? I don't need nobody over my shoulder 24/7 telling me let's go to the club today. Let's 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 go get drinks. Let's go talk to so and so girl. I don't need nobody telling me that. You feel me? I make I'm my own person. I make my own decisions, I make my own mistakes. I have to deal with all of those. Nobody else can deal with nothing for me. Nobody else can deal with no emotions for me. I have to deal with that. So the number one thing I see a lot of people doing is depending on their friends, depending on other people. For me, being alone in like, you kind of learn how to balance all that. You kind of learn how to be alone. You kind of learn how to manage your money. You kind of learn everything. Indeed, some people are, are extroverts. Extroverts can be loners as well, you feel me? Loners doesn't just mean I don't talk to nobody all day. Loner is more so how do you like to spend your time? Extroverts, you can be an extrovert when you're around people, but man, when you're by yourself, you're an introvert. You need that quality time to yourself. You need that space to yourself. And a lot of people don't really understand that. Like Having that is important because you get to learn yourself. You get to figure yourself out. You get to learn things about yourself that you can't do when you're always around somebody. And then even being around people, like especially groups of having big groups of friends, like I learned that whoever is the mutual friend of everybody, they're usually the fakest one out the pack. For the simple fact, if you know me and so-and-so don't get along, you have to kind of play both sides in order to make us one, in order to make us be friends and make yourself be around me, uh, us. You feel me? So going through all of that and seeing all of that, you kind of divide yourself you divide the friend group because you're fake you have to plead by both sides and that's just something i don't really get along with when i take the time to actually think about everything and i know there's two as a loner like it's good because most loners they take the time out to appreciate themselves learn their body learn their mental space learn what they can do what they can't do was they instincts just grow they higher power they getting higher they learn themselves more loners just have a higher vibration for the simple fact that they know what's right and what's wrong when it comes to themselves. A lot of people don't know that. And especially coming into college, a lot of people feel like the first thing they gotta do is make friends. It's nothing wrong with friends. But when the first thing you're doing is make friends, you don't, you have no idea what type of person you're bringing into your life. You have no idea of what's right for you and what's wrong with you. You know what, you have no idea of what this person has done in the past. You know, have no idea of who this person is connected to emotionally, sexually, and why they're fighting their personal demons and you feel so bad for them because that's your friend you love them and you're not even dealing with your own problem because you're so worried about having friends and what your friend got going on we are individuals you feel me individuals we gotta we gotta always remember that we can't be dependent on other people it's not wrong depending on other people but at the end of the day we in college if, if i know my partner going through it he's struggling to pay for school but he, he temporarily got money i cannot depend on him 
And we got this thing as humans to where we feel like certain people have to do things for us. If we give something to somebody, it straight up, that shit better be out of love because it's a chance you don't get it back. So we got to make sure that our level of dependency is low and our independency is high for the simple fact that we alone out here. No matter how you put it, no matter how many friends you think you got, we alone out here. A couple people gonna stick around, and other people gonna, a couple people gonna go through everything with you, but that's rare, and that's not many. You might have a group of 20. You gonna only call two people when, when something go wrong. What's the point of having them extra 18 friends and calling them your friends? Because the only time they hitting you up is when they wanna have fun, when they wanna drink. They ain't never hit you up to do something positive. I got homeboys that'll hit me up to go do a lick, but when I say let's go study or work out, I ain't, they ain't with it no more. You feel me? So know your circle, know your worth, and know who around you. There's nothing wrong with being by yourself. I also learned too, it's really hard to love yourself when you're always surrounded by people. Because people, they tell your heart, they tell your brain in multiple directions. So I'm not saying literally, but I might be working on myself. You feel me? And I got a good move out. I helped a couple people move. These were male. A couple of them was female, but most of them were male. You feel me? When it's time for me to move out my apartment, nobody hit my, it was, I had one person who was a female help me move out my apartment. You feel me? So all of that, like, it just showed me that you can't depend on anybody. If you're going to do something, do it out of love. But in that time of being alone and not having friends before you decide to go out and get friends, learn to love yourself. Learn to, to do things on your own. Learn to appreciate yourself. Learn to just love yourself because once you get friends, it's always going to be about the friend. It's always going to be about the group. It's never about just you anymore. If you can't hang with big groups, if you can't hang with certain people, that's nothing wrong with that. You feel me? You're growing. That just means you're at a, a good vibration in your life. You're at a good point in your life to where you can you can stand being alone. You can stand being by yourself and not being disrupted or being or feeling off because you're not with a group of people or you're not missing what's going on. Parties gonna always go won't always be there. Work, scholarships, money, it ain't always gonna be there. You feel me? You can always make it, but that don't mean that opportunity is always gonna be there for you. Friends, juice parties, the playlists at the club, girls, it's all temporary, it all come a dime a dozen. You can get that at any time, you feel me? So you ain't gotta pride yourself on going out and being seen because when that time for you to go out is, is there, take it. But if it's not, don't force it. Don't go out just because your friend wanna go out, cause you're not gonna enjoy yourself. You're gonna be at the club watching everybody. You're gonna spend money on drink, like, and you don't even want to. You're just doing it cause everybody else there and you just don't want to miss nothing. But do you really wanna do it though? I also had to come to the conclusion that sometimes, bro, so-called friends are just distractions. Distractions from you finding out who you are and loving yourself and it make your process to life so much harder if that friend is not really the friend that you needed them to be. Are they not the friend who, who they sought out to be from the beginning of the friendship or the group me that y'all first met on before y'all got to college? That's friends really be like that. Take into account everything that a person tell you, take into account everything that you learn about a person and take account your own personal life and how you, how you work best, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, you matter, nobody else. You matter. Nobody else. Nobody else can live life for you. It's not lame to be alone. It's so many opportunities that you get. It's so many. You get opportunities for meeting people because it's it's very good to to socialize. It's very good to network. But at the same time, networking. You're not around that person you're networking with all the time. So if you have to network and be around somebody all the time, they're using you. Understand that. I don't care if you're going Greek. I don't care if you're trying to get in a little or If you have to network by being around and being somebody do boy or do girl all day, that is not networking. They're using you. It does not take all of that. If a person going to fuck with you and mess with you, they're going to mess with you for you. Nothing else. Not what you can do for them. Get that through your head. So once you learn to love yourself, the need for people, it all becomes unnecessary. The want for people, it, it's still going to be there. But the need for people is unnecessary. People always say, oh, I gotta do this in order to fit in. I gotta do all this to make it out where I come from. No, bro. You trying to lead the trenches, you trying to lead the hood. You gotta make it out the hood first. Once you make it out and see different opportunities and visions, then you can tell other people what you saw and bring that, that enlightenment back to wherever you came from or, the, or wherever you want to get out of. But you cannot be trying to get out and also getting other people out at the same time especially in the world we live in now it's a crowd party everybody trying to get to the top and they don't care who they hurt they don't care who they who they bring it down so being alone you're not really bringing nobody down you stand up everybody else crawling on one side of the crowd part and you on the whole another side chilling you on your own process but it's life jump this this being successful it's a prog it's a process any type of process is progress you're not always going to be on the same 
This ain't laughing somebody, but it's a marathon at the same time. We run into something. Being a loner, you you not running from nothing no more. You you face your problems head on. And I ain't even gonna say head on because we all hurt, we all heal differently. But you go through everything. You're going through the motions. You're not a, you're not going to parties just because you're depressed. And I went through that and a lot of my peers, a lot of people watching this video, y'all all probably went through something to where y'all going through everything and y'all not healing. And then if you are gonna be that friend, remember that strong friend need help too. And you might be the weaker friend, but ask your strong friend sometimes how they feeling because they hurt, they bleed, they cry just like anybody else. Check on them. I mean, we in college, we all go through stuff. A lot of us go through it alone, but that does not make you lame. You stronger than anybody. Ain't nobody gonna tell you that, but you really the strongest person out here. Anybody that's out here, I ain't gonna say anybody cause some people like, they different. But everybody out here with these groups of friends, they not happy. Notice why entertainers, people like young boy, they always talking about death. They not happy. Money don't make you happy. Mental health makes you happy. You can have all the money in the world. Some of the, the most richest people in the world have killed themselves. Some of the biggest entertainers, athletes, have killed themselves. Being around fake vibes and fake people ain't cool all the time. It ain't always where you want to be. Sometimes you want to get your own personal thought going. Because at the end of the day, you matter. So if anybody make you feel bad for being a loner, just look at this video. Because it's okay to be a loner. It's okay to not have friends. But just remember that you have a higher purpose in life. That's all that needed to be said. All my loners, all my people with friends, we out.